The introduction of machine learning to security, of course, unlocks a lot of potential uh, and takes a lot of manual work out of configuring your security solution. Uh, previously, you, if you ever detected attacks, you might need to constantly be updating your WAF or updating your firewall, adding uh, lists of IP addresses or user agents that you knew were part of previous attacks, and then you can just blacklist them outright. But that also presents a problem with more modern attacks where they're being run from residential IP addresses, for example, which you can't really blacklist. If you blacklist them, you'll end up blocking out your good users as well. So where machine learning can come in is you can configure uh, systems that are able to find patterns of an attack in real time, determine the source of that attack, and start blocking it, but only blocking the sources while the attack is ongoing. So that way, if the attack does look like it's coming from maybe a residential IP address, it's only blocked during the time frame of the attack. And then after the attack, it can release that information and stop blocking them uh, so that you're not blocking out good users and triggering false positives. So let's see an example of this in real time. So I am going to simulate a credential stuffing attack. So What's happening right now is this device is attempting repeated logins against this application. It's running through a, a set of stolen credentials. So it's rotating through uh, a range of username and passwords. Um, and what we know about credential stuffing attacks is usually only about one to 3% of the credentials that are tried in an attack are valid. So you can see here, most of these attempts are actually failing. So when the security solution sees this wave of failed logins, it becomes aware that there's an attack underway. And where the machine learning comes in is it automatically starts to look for patterns in that attack. Is there a single set of IPs? In this case, it wasn't each of these failed logins was actually coming in from a different IP address. Um, but it's going to look for different properties. Maybe there's a common set of uh, HTTP headers that are involved in the attack, for example. So it can find some set of consistency to identify where the attack is coming from. So let's see what happens now when I try to log in to this application. I know that an active user here is johannacastle.io. I'm going to enter the correct password here. And when I hit log in, you can see I'm denied. It says login failed. But down here in the logs, it says login succeeded. So that's acknowledging that I did enter the correct credentials. It was actually the security solution that intercepted it and rejected the login. This is because it identified that the login was coming in from one of the devices that was involved in this ongoing credential stuffing attack. And you can see here that the device got a very high risk score um, and was identified as a malicious device. So this is where machine learning really can come in handy. There was no configuration. There was no blacklisting of user agents or IPs. This was all done in real time, completely dynamic and automated.